we just got off the ferry to Paros. The first part was fine. To Sifnos, like, it wasn't bumpy. It was fine. Whatever. The second part was more bumpy. So not so great. I don't think I would last more than two hours. No. And then when we're getting off, everyone's screaming. They're yelling at you. <laughs> they're like, just leave your suitcase and go. But obviously if they took off and our suitcases were still on there, that would be really bad. So luckily we got everything. We made it out in one piece. <laughs> but we're here on Paros, thank God. So this is our second and final Greek island. So excited to see what's coming. Our first order of business after landing on Paros was to pick up our rental car and check into our accommodation after grabbing a quick lunch at a French bakery just across the road. So there was a cute little farm on the property just next to our place, but luckily the doors were thick enough that we didn't hear the roosters crowing each morning. The room rental was super cute, had AC, and a lovely little terrace which we use for our breakfasts and dinners most days of our trip. After dropping off our bags and getting settled, we walked through the town of Perikia, also known as the main port of Paros. We found tons of cute shops and restaurants lining the beachfront promenade, although things were pretty quiet in the afternoon. When booking accommodations for this island, you'll find that Perikia and Nausa are the main options. We actually really enjoyed staying near this town as it was a bit quieter and perfect for an evening stroll or to have dinner with a sunset view. We arrived in Paros this afternoon and well first we went back to our place and checked in and it's super cute much better than our last one but we're really enjoying the town of Perugia because it's just adorable and it seems very well taken care of like everything is well painted the buildings are so white it's so cute I think we're really gonna like this island after that, we went back for a quick rest and a much needed shower, watching this gorgeous sunset from our terrace before heading back into town for a delicious pizza dinner. Good morning from Paros. It's our first full day here on this island and we've already set ourselves up in our little B&B that we're staying in, which is super cute and the outdoors is also really cute. Little garden here. A perfect place to wake up in the morning and just enjoy. So, we had dinner in the town of Perikia last night and I walked around after, and it was much more lively than Milos, I would say. Much more people from different international destinations as well. Uh, so, we really enjoyed the vibe and just had a nice pizza dinner at a little restaurant on the, uh, the waterfront there. And today we're going to the other most popular town, Nausa, Nausa? I don't know how to say it, but it seems very cute, so I'm excited to see that. And then maybe we'll go to a beach this afternoon because it seems like it's going to be another warm day here in Paros. Also, we'd highly suggest renting a car for this island. It's usually about a half hour drive to any of the main attractions, and with the heat, you'll definitely want AC. Plus, gas prices here will add up super quick, especially with a smaller tank, if you opt for a scooter or ATV instead. So, it ends up being more economical this way. Okay, Nausa is so cute and charming. I'm really loving the buildings here. And there's a little fortress at the end of this walkway in the middle of the water that you have to get to, but... I think my new favorite town we visited. We heard a few people say this town reminded them of a mini Mykonos, but it was so nice to explore earlier in the day before it got too busy. Once evening comes around, you'll be fighting for a place on the sidewalk with all the restaurant tables spilling out onto the streets. This town is absolutely stunning though, and it comes with a higher price tag if you plan to book a few nights here.
After walking around in the heat and humidity, we really needed some beach time to cool down and relax a bit. The owner of our accommodation recommended the town of Empelas for a great seafood lunch, but we ended up staying for the gorgeous hidden beach just beside it. Hey, listen, if you're coming to this town, Empelas, you have to eat at this restaurant. I'm not joking. The view is incredible, the food is amazing, and well-priced, and we loved it. After filling up on shrimp saganaki and seafood spaghetti, we took the rest of the day to swim in the turquoise waters of this incredible beach. Plus, we got some shade from the cliffs in the afternoon to combat the grueling heat of the day. When we finally managed to leave our new favorite beach, we drove to the town of Lefkis in the mountainous area of Paros. This town is absolutely oozing with charm and the church is even more impressive than any we'd previously seen in Greece. So after spending five hours on the beach today, well in that area with the restaurant and the little beach that we found all to ourselves, we decided to come up to Lefkis for the evening and it was the perfect time around like 6 p.m. where it wasn't too hot but there was still some very good lighting and the church here is beautiful. Maybe the most beautiful we've seen on the island so far. Oh, but there's so many cute little things. So we just want to take them all home with us. And there was a cute little fluffy dog on the beach. So many animals. But yeah, really like this town. Very charming. We left as the sun was going down and had a simple dinner on our terrace to finish off the evening. The next morning we planned our itinerary for the day, visiting one of the best beaches on the island in a few small towns. Our second full day in Paros and we were on our way to the Golden Sand Beach this morning but we made a quick stop at Aliki which is a little village that's known for its seafood and just having a couple restaurants and it seems very cute and charming. I would definitely stay here if we had more time on the island because it's very sleepy and quiet, but the beach looks very nice. So it's a good stop and I think we're gonna get back on the road. Maybe it's just that we arrived kind of early in the day, but this beach is like nearly empty. I think it's one of the nicest ones we've seen so far. The water is so clear and shallow and blue. It looks like paradise. So we just finished up at the Golden Sand Beach, which maybe have been my favorite so far because it's so clear and shallow for a long distance. So you can swim as much as you want. And we didn't see the fish. So honestly, I just swam for probably an hour or more and it was the best thing ever. But now we're coming out to Piso Livadi, I think is the name of the town. And we're gonna have some lunch and just admire the sea views on a beautiful day. So our lunch at Back to Back was incredible. It was something we needed as opposed to like having great food every single day. She got a club sandwich, I got a veggie burger. It was perfect after swimming for hours and hours and hours. But the portions were huge, so you could easily split the plates. But now we're going to go to Marpisa and a few of the smaller towns this afternoon. And I don't think this day could get any better. Incredible, such a cute town. 
After lunch and a quick stroll through Piso Livati, we drove to Mar Pisa, but didn't make it very far into town before the heat got the best of us. Okay, pro tip. Don't walk around the villages when it's 30 degrees Celsius outside in the middle of the day. <laughs> You've been bested by the heat. After a minute, we finally got the courage to continue walking through the town, and although it was cute, it wasn't our favorite town on the island. I'm sure it's much better to visit or grab dinner here in the evenings. So we went back to our place and enjoyed another meal al fresco. Seriously, the sunsets here are incredible. We'd seen pretty much all the major towns and beaches on Paros, so we decided to take a day trip to the smaller island of Antiparos just next door. So in Antiparos this morning on a little ferry boat that shouldn't take too long because the water is really rough today with windy, so hopefully this is a smooth trip. Well, honestly not bad, a 20 minute ferry ride later and we're in Antiparos. And it's windy today, so it, there was a few rough spots, but nothing unmanageable, like my Iceland boat trip earlier this summer. But no, it's, it seems like it's a cute little island, and I gave it to explore. I believe the ferry costs 7 euros one way or 14 round trip, so not completely unreasonable. And there are buses available to take you to the south side of the island where the best beaches are and the seafood restaurants. I think if you come to Paros and you don't come to Auntie Paros, you're missing out because it's much more quiet, much more relaxed, there's cute shops and restaurants, and we've just been wandering around and we really like it. We wandered near the main area where the port is located, but we were starting to get pretty hungry, so we settled for this perfect little brunch place in the town. Really enjoyed this place, and we heard their dinner menu is incredible as well. Why is she making me walk on the side of the road? <laughs> to get to a beach that's supposedly nice? I mean, I didn't think Okay. Is it a sand beach at least? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so maybe the way back from Ensparos wasn't as fun. No. <laughs> we were just praying for it to be over and we looked at the phone and it had been like six minutes and we're like, oh, great. Great. Yeah, so avoid the ferry on a windy day, I would say. It's probably better when it's smooth. It was fine going, really, compared to the way coming back. Uh, but anyway, something to do for our time on her. So after we got back to our place, we took a little bit of a rest because that boat ride kind of had us nauseous. Um, but we're coming up to Promodo. Okay, I'll put the name here. But anyways, a cute little town that's near Marpisa where we were yesterday, but we didn't get a chance to see it. So we're gonna see it tonight and we might have dinner in Nausa after. So looking forward to that. This is the town that really became an unexpected highlight for us. We loved all the little murals and painted details and it was absolutely overflowing with bougainvillea. Back in Nausa for the evening, we had our eye on a dinner place that we walked past on the first day. The food was okay, but not excellent, although it was nice to be back here to experience the fun nightlife vibe after sunset.
Our last full day on Paros and exploring the Greek island, so we spent a little bit of time at Kolymptheris Beach this morning. It was beautiful with the natural rock features, but I think we enjoyed the Golden Sand Beach just a bit more. And we weren't about to leave without revisiting our favorite restaurant here. My advice for this place is to order a meze of spreads and small dishes to share. The tzatziki was incredible and our favorite will always be the shrimp saganaki. Also, we wanted to come back just for the dessert and yes, it was totally worth it. We spent some time enjoying the beach here before returning to Perikia for our last evening on the island. Yesterday was our last full day in Paro, so this morning we're heading back to Athens on the ferry. So we just grabbed our things, packed up, and we're getting ready to go, but this little property is so cute. There's a little farm just beside it, and they have all these little villas, some upstairs, some downstairs, but the view during sunset especially was really nice, and we enjoyed having like a small dinner on our terrace every evening. So yeah, it's been fun, but as much as we enjoyed Paros, it's time to head back to Athens. They agreed to drive us down to the port so we didn't have to walk our bags all the way down there. So that was really sweet. <laughs> we managed to arrive early to the port to wait for our ferry, but this one was much more full than any of the others we took. So I recommend grabbing some snacks and waiting in line as close to the front as possible. Otherwise, you'll end up like us, suffering near the smoking area of the economy deck. Just after we checked in, an afternoon thunderstorm rolled through, which was impeccable timing, actually. So we finally made it back to Athens after the craziest ferry ride ever. I mean, we took the bigger ferry, so it was slower, four and a half hours, and it was just cigarette smoke constantly, and people yelling and screaming, and absolute chaos. But we made it back to Athens, which is nice. So now we're just going for our last dinner in the city after a little rainstorm. And hopefully it'll be a refreshing change from earlier today. After our last evening stroll around the city, we woke up the next morning with plans for a big brunch and this place definitely delivered. Honestly, how could you not love Greece? After brunch, we decided to visit the Banaki Museum and really enjoyed this collection of artifacts. We're back in Athens for our final day before we head home. Well, onto the next destination. Anyway. But we just did the Banaki Museum, which was actually really, really interesting. We thought the collection was a lot more unique and special than the Acropolis Museum. Any highlights? What was your personal favorite? It's just an interesting mix because you have the costumes, but you also have old objects and like paintings. So 
yeah, for people who are not really big museum mm -hmm. fans, I would say like it's a good like, one to two hours museum. So yeah. no, very interesting, very different. I highly recommend. Oh yeah, it was really good. And now we're gonna check out the Panathenic Stadium and head back into town. It was bittersweet spending our last day in Athens where our trip started two weeks prior. We both said the city felt really unique and we enjoyed just wandering around for our last afternoon here. We had to visit Little Kook before leaving and it was giving Nightmare Before Christmas meets Disneyland Halloween vibes. <laughs> Not far from here, we grabbed a quick snack before catching a ride to the airport. Oh my God, yeah, Laura and I have been doing yearly girls trips to various countries over the years and it was so nice to reunite in Greece this time. We love the islands we chose to visit and I can't wait to visit more in the future.